Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Low altitude. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Low altitude. Low altitude. Pull up, pull up. Over G, over G. Whether it's in the air, on land, the sea, or under it, the SimNet is your simulation network. Eagle, a name synonymous with superiority. With this grip, you'll be mastering the virtual skies in no time. I am thrilled to announce that my DIY F15 Eagle grip files are now available for purchase at the links in the description. If you want to keep up to date on more cool designs like this, please subscribe to the channel and consider liking this video. I began working on this project this year when the F-15E Strike Eagle module released for DCS World. While a lot of folks already own the similar Thrustmaster F-18 grip, for the Eagle purists out there, you know that the Eagle grip is actually significantly different from the Hornet grip in angle and inputs. That alone was a reason enough to tackle this project. Along the way, I decided to try out some new construction and assembly methods. A lot of folks have existing Thrustmaster, Verpal, or VKB bases, and I wanted to further enhance compatibility, so I have redesigned the connectors to more closely fit the Thrustmaster profile. If you have an old Thrustmaster grip lying around and wish to use that metal connector, it would be plug and play with this grip. This also means that the VKB to Thrustmaster adapter would be compatible with this grip as well for all the VKB users out there. Another goal of this project has been to make DIY flights and peripherals much more accessible. I'm very inspired by the folks over at Authenticate whose designs don't even require any soldering. Although my designs do, I've been searching for alternative ways of assembling these sticks. That's where our channel sponsor, PCBWay, has really been a great partner. For example, these PCBs mounted inside the grip were actually assembled by PCB Way. Their soldering job far exceeds my amateur efforts. They also printed and assembled these PCBs that were designed by IMAR Committees on the Reddit for the Alps 5-way switches. This PCB is a hardware solution to the problem of Alps 5-ways triggering the push when selecting a direction. All those small SMD components really exceeded my ability to assemble, but with PCB Way, it was a breeze. I uploaded the Gerber files, selected the components, and I was off to the races. PCB Way also 3D printed these grip shells, and they printed these button caps in resin. The resin looks far cleaner than anything my Voxel Lab FDM printer can do, and it's quite the finish. Finally, PCB Way printed these connectors in metal, which I have been loving as they are very strong and secure. So if you don't have access to a 3D printer or just want to save some time, I can genuinely recommend PCB Way's services. I was a customer of theirs before they reached out to me for this partnership, so I can genuinely recommend them. As with my previous designs, there are a few versions of the buttons and switches, primarily the five ways. Version 1 uses the traditional 5 ways I got from Adafruit, and they do not require any special PCBs to function as a regular 5 way. Version 2 uses the iMarchimedes PCB. All the switch details are open source and free, and the designs are posted to my Thingiverse page. The files for the grip itself are available for sale on Cults 3D and later will be available on Thangs as well at the request of the community. This design took many months and iterations and the sponsorship does not cover the entire development cost, hence the desire to put up a paid design. I do also continuously put out free designs for the community, and my plan is to always strike a healthy balance. I can't wait to see these grips out in the wild, and as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can reach me on social media at the SimNet, and also via email at questions at thesimnet.com. I also have my Discord profile linked in the channel description. If you click that link, you should be able to send me a DM as well.
In the next video, I will cover assembly of this legendary joystick. Stay tuned. If you want to be notified of that, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for tuning into the SimNet, your one-stop shop for all things simulation. Till we meet again.